Hey, what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm going to show you a bug or a freaking frustration of Windows Crappy 10. So I've been spending a good majority of what, 6-7 hours overnight plus the day, and I still can't get it to work. I've got Windows 10 installed, I've got my programs installed, but the only way I can get this piece of shit to work is for it to be installed with a um, onboard um, display. In other words, my PCIe, i.e. my graphics card, the GTX 960 by MSI, does not want to boot up. So look at this. So I'm just going to switch off the PC. Right now it's uh, on the BIOS, it's got as auto um, in terms of selection of a display. Now if I were to go start up, get into the BIOS and put iGPU, which would be the primary display for the, um, for the graphics card. So let's go there, there, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, it's auto, auto, enabled, enabled, so primary display auto. Um, if I put PCIe, it has the same thing, but let's put iGPU, that piece of crap. Now let's press save and exit. Now this bottom uh, TV will turn on because it's connected via HDMI uh, to, my, um, to my PC. And bear in mind my uh, monitor is still up there. So just wait for the restart. So this is a black screen problem, a black screen issue. I have no idea what it's the cause of, but um, anyway, there's a problem there. Just turn on the monitor. Signal, there you go, okay. So you can see it's primary display. Just gonna hit restart. So, monitor wasn't on just there but yeah anyway so just waiting for it to reboot and what this means is that you can't use the graphics card as your primary display as far as I'm concerned this is the problem it's occurring it's happening each time to me and um, no matter what I do it's always going to do it so right now as you can see it worked and it boots and you can see I am on the desktop right now I'm just going to sign in because of stupid Microsoft things, I need. I don't want to show my name or my email. So I'm boot up. Takes its time. Come on. Still waiting for it to log on. Any time now. <laughs> But yeah, the problem is, there you go, now I'm into desktop, as you can see, I've got the dual monitor display, so to speak. And so essentially, when I want to go via PCIe, um, i.e. via my graphics card as my primary display, not the HD 4000 inbuilt iGPU graphics, I cannot do so because Windows 10 is retarded. So again, I'm going to show you this, I'm going to switch off my PC, as you can see I am on Windows 10, right there. There you go. So now I am going to shut off the PC. And then I'm going to start it back up. And this time I'm going to put I'm going to put PCIe as my primary display. So again, I've got iGPU down there, PCIe up there, that's my graphics card, and that's my inbuilt graphics card on my Intel 3770K. So, turn on the PC again. That's the iGPU over there again. It should be the default monitor at the moment because its um, iGPU is selected as default. So you can see BIOS is at the bottom screen over there. So I am going to go to there, graphics options, and now change to PCIe. Now I'm going to go save and exit changes. So now the primary display will be PCIe, which will come up from the primary display, which is my Unix monitor up there which is connected via DVI. So as you can see right now, it's booting up. Now just bear this in mind, look, I'm just going to show you just a bit closely. Look at my keyboard and mouse, look what happens. Obviously it's got power right now. And then there's the um, startup screen. Look at the mouse and keyboard. Look at the displays. And look at the standby on my monitor. So in other words, 
as soon as you are in PCIe mode, in other words, when you're trying to use a bloody graphics card, it's not allowing you to, and it doesn't even allow you to boot. I can't get past the Windows login screen. I can't even remotely log in because my keyboard obviously doesn't work. Um, so I can't even guess, um, you know, the positioning or password or whatever. So I can't even log in to see that. So the only way to actually get on Windows 7, uh, Windows 10, sorry, is to actually use your iGPU. And if you don't, uh, use your iGPU, then forget it, you won't be able to use um, your Windows 10 operating system completely. So there we go guys, I just want to show you that, I'm going to do a direct upload, so I'm going to log into iGPU and then upload this video. But anyway, I'm just going to point out this bug, It's uh, today is the uh, 1st of August 2015, and I am a very pissed off customer right now because Windows 10, free upgrade for everyone, great. That was a pain in a bloody ass to do, um, because I constantly was having these problems until I figured it out myself. And now that I've installed Windows 10, even after installing the NVIDIA drivers, the latest Windows 10 drivers, it's still doing this. So in other words, you're fucked. There we go. Thank you very much, uh, Windows, for ruining the experience and wasting a good majority of my time for no given reason, just because, um, I don't know, you're retarded or you're like EA, where you produce stuff which are not actually finished. All right, guys. Bye-bye.